Hey, welcome to 30 at 5 on 560WIND.com. Thanking our guys at Altoff Industries, Tom Less, Betsy Less, Todd, all the great people over there for re-upping for three more months here on the 30 and 5 at 560 WIND. Have some major announcements over the next couple of weeks to give to you people. Can't do it now because we're not ready to make the announcement. I must have sound like Herman Cain. We'll get to him in a minute. Don't forget John and Amy in the morning and Steve Cochran, in which I'm going to be. I was on with Steve this past Friday. I'll be on with Steve Cochran on Fridays now. Check your local listings. Anyway. They're going to end Saturday deliveries with the post office. They're $20 billion, uh, or they will save $20 billion by doing this. There will be no next day delivery. Uh, if you have Netflix and some of these major companies that you used, you order something that comes the next day, that's going to be over with in March. Uh, basically, no more next day. Uh, no more first class next day. They're going to close 250 facilities. I want to ask the union, how's that working? How's that work for you? You're going to take care of everybody that's retired, so nobody's going to have jobs. The post office is on its way out. On its way out. Uh, I know that they still have use, but wait, hey, you have a magazine coming? Let's say I need my gaming today to read about my what picks I should make on Sunday. That used to come on Saturday. When am I going to get it? Monday? When the NFL season has started already? I mean, give me a break. So it's not a good situation. It's a problem that's been going on for 15 years. And you know who you blame for this? You blame both sides. The management side for signing such ridiculous deals that would put everybody in debt down the line. But you know what they kept saying? We'll worry about that later. And the unions. Is the union leadership going to help keep jobs or are they not going to renegotiate and just let them go away? Because it looks like the federal government's saying, hey, we're friends of the union. But guess what? Just in time for Christmas, we're announcing we're going to make massive cuts in March. But they got to do it before Christmas to stick it to everybody? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare. You got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it. Hey, guess what? We lost a super drone in Iran. Just heard about it. And you know what we're going to do about it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Apparently, it's strayed. So, hey, guess what? They got it. It's supposed to be one of our top secret drones. The U.S. government is saying, uh, you know what? It lost its calculations. They were looking for it. But that being said, they admitted that it was over Iran, and they have a drone now. So uh, we won't do anything about it, and they will use the research and get all the secrets from there. Uh, not a good day. John Huntsman. Now, for the people out there, he's the kid, the Mormon from Utah uh, who's running on the Republican ticket, who was just on television saying, we're starting to resonate our message. No, you're not. Here's the message I want everybody to look at, and I'm sure my buddy Corey will put it up. He's campaigning with his daughters now. I want you to just take a good look at his daughters. I will be at the next event, ladies and gentlemen. Herman Cain, remember this, and everybody does, nine, nine, nine. I didn't know that meant how many girlfriends he has. Here's what I'm gonna tell everybody. We should have started, like I had said earlier, and there's still time, the too many skeletons in the closet ticket. So when people discover that they've been doing this, you say, well, that's why he's running into too many skeletons in the closet ticket. This is no surprise. Now does everybody know why 90% of America can never run for president after what this guy went through. And by the way, in the media coverage, has anybody basically said anything about the women that knew this guy was married, that knew that this guy had a family, that took his money, the one with the 13-year... Has anybody looked at them? I guess it's okay, huh? How come there's nothing being directed at these women? who did the wrong thing. I'm just saying. You know what? Why should he just take the beating alone? It takes two to tango, ladies and gentlemen. Two to tango. My Notre Dame Dons. Good try last night, guys. Lose to Simeon. Third game in three nights. 73-53. to 53. Jabari Parker stole the show. But our guys did a good job, including a couple uh, big runs. Eight to nothing run uh, at the beginning of the second half. But Jabari Parker's outstanding. And Simeon 
is an outstanding team. They are men, but our guys showed up and played their butts off. The Bears lose. They didn't play their butts off. They have no quarterback. They have no running back. And Jerry Angelo, if you're him today, you're going like this. <sighs> Anybody want me to sign him to a long-term deal? Now, on that end, it's only a sprain. Matt Forte should not play again this year because Matt Forte's going, <sighs> guess what? If you want to make the playoffs, you better sign me to an extension. Otherwise, guess what? I don't know what's going to happen. And I won't be able to play this year, maybe. But sign me to an extension now while it's a spring and I come fresh and ready to go next year. But you can't take a whole lot of money. I think we've proven why the running back position isn't in tune with the big doll. Uh, also, Tim Tebow wins again. What new? And... The LSU-Alabama thing, I'll more than I'm just saying, but it's a snore fest. And the weather today, not going to be frightful, dark, danky, it's the way I like it, 37 degrees. You've been listening to the 30 and 5 on 560 WIND. Have a great day. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.